Pump tracks are sprouting up in cities and towns all over the world. They serve as a community hub for riders of all disciplines and abilities to have fun, meet friends, and practice skills. In this video, we attend the Carlisle Pump Track Grand Opening in Carlisle, Pennsylvania to share the story of how they built a pump track in their community. We hear from those responsible for its creation and share the steps they took to build it and hopefully inspire you to build a pump track in your community. So I'm here today with Jonathan Cox. He's the guy that actually invited us here to this Pump Track Grand opening. So I just wanted to ask him a few questions to kind of get you guys to know who Jonathan is and his involvement in the Pump Track. So Jonathan, how did you come to be a part of this project? Yeah. Hey Nick, hey Katie, thanks for coming. We really <laughs> appreciate it. We started this whole thing almost like six years ago. Okay. when I was like a sophomore in high school. So okay. I'm, I'm going to my senior year of college now. But I kind of started off just like being a dumb teenager, building this little little trail in my neighbor's backyard, which okay. he eventually wasn't too happy about. But then we were like, oh, how about we you know, make it for real? I worked with a bunch of the other coaches on my high school mountain bike team who had okay. like, connections within the community. And we all uh, presented to the Parks and Rec department for Carlisle okay. and then took it to the borough of Carlisle and kind of got their support and approval. From there, we did all these design work, wrote a bunch of grants, and that's kind of one of the parts I helped out with was the grants. And then from there, we did some construction planning, but that was kind of delayed by COVID, which is like gotcha. a pretty big setback for our project. Yeah. But, you know, as a result, tons of people found cycling and mountain biking after COVID. And now it's super cool to see all these people here today. We kind of started clearing the land back in November of 2023, and okay. they built it over the winter of 2024 with a soft launch back in March. Gotcha. And now we're here, it's July 13th. So we just had a big grand opening with a bunch of people just coming to hang out. This pump track features endless line options. It has multiple loops and it's built to be ridden in multiple directions. Riders typically congregate on the raised starting mound, which serves as the starting point and end point of each run. Since there is no right or wrong direction to ride the track, it's important to keep your head up and look out for other riders. The pump track looks so much bigger in person as well. The berms are really well made and there are plenty of challenging rollers to double. I love that the parking lot is right next to the pump track and I also love the tree canopy shading us during our session. The pump track is fantastic and according to Jonathan, they are planning to expand the project to include a skills area in the future. Stick around at the end of the video for more on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, legs are noodles. <laughs> Thanks everyone for coming out today. It's a, it's a big day for us. The project started, I'd say six or seven years ago uh, when Jonathan was maybe 14 or 15 and uh, really enjoying mountain bike racing and being a member of our the Carlisle uh, mountain biking team here. And we were visiting my mother and father-in-law in Boston. We visited the Wampatuck State Park uh, near their home and and they said, you need to come check out this uh, pump track that was just built. And so we did, and, and kind of the rest is history. We said, we needed something like this in our community. So uh, that was kind of the beginning of it all. Yeah, it's, it's been quite a journey, and we've had a lot of um, tremendous support and partnerships along the way. So um, this was a true grassroots effort. Uh, we raised over $300,000 to make this happen. So, so Sorry. <laughs> 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 So why did you guys decide to pick this particular location for the pump track? Yeah, so I guess zooming out first, like Carlisle and the Cumberland Valley is, has incredible mountain biking opportunities out in Michaux, but then also we utilize Carlisle to kind of grow cycling here. This is the location that our NICA high school team, Carlisle Area Composite Racing, practices. Okay. Um, and we have a whole network of trails out there, miles and miles of trails um, that are great for beginner riders. So that's one of the reasons. This is also the terminus of the Cumberland Valley Rail Trail, nice. which goes all the way out and is eventually gonna connect south in Chambersburg, as well as just in this community park that a lot of people use. And it also makes a lot of sense for people to come on their bikes. It's very essentially located. 
So we are here at the Carlisle Palm Track. I'm here with Janet and Rob. They had a big part in bringing this pump track to you and making this available to the community. So I just want them to kind of introduce themselves and what part they had played in creating this pump track. So Janet. Hi, I'm Janet Anderson, Executive Director of the Cumberland Area Economic Development Corporation and the Visitors Bureau here in Cumberland County. We provided a grant uh, to help make all of this happen through our tourism uh, efforts. And we're excited to have this happen right here in Cumberland County to bring young people in, uh, keep them active, keep them going and bring them back to maybe live and work here in Cumberland County, one of the fastest growing counties in Pennsylvania. That's awesome. And Rob, what part did you play? So my name is uh, Rob Nylinger and I'm with the Nylinger Companies. Uh, we flip houses in the county and we own a lot of rental properties in the county. And uh, we just love supporting and, and impacting the people in our community and uh, especially young people. We like helping molding young people, help uh, uh, making their futures better. And I can tell you, I live about a mile and a half from here okay. and I've seen this place being used a lot. And now my kids oh, yeah. are starting to ride on the track and I can just see the impact this is making. So donating to this uh, is, is very uh, important to us. That's really awesome, guys. I really appreciate what you have done for the community. This is a place that I really appreciate, and I know a lot of other people like me will really appreciate coming here and yeah. spending time. So thank you, guys. Yep. Thank Thanks you. for spreading the word. Yeah. Absolutely. So if somebody was trying to start a pump track in their community, what would be the first thing that you would recommend for them to do like as like a starting point? That's a great idea. So I think first, you want to kind of understand like how your community is like well positioned to make a pump track and who would have benefit and just kind of getting an idea of how a pump track would fit in your town. And then from there, you wanna kind of develop a proposal or plan and work with, get a big team together that's all passionate about this and get some community buy-in. From there, you kind of take it to your local parks and rec department, um, your, local, your local municipal government, okay. and they kind of certify it all. And then you want to work. You want to kind of find and network with various nonprofit, philanthropic foundations, and kind of big people in the community that can financially support uh, your project. And working with different uh, consultants, landscape architects, contractors, and construction workers to kind of bring the whole vision together. Um, there's a lot of steps in this process, but it's a super rewarding experience. And you know, if you have a whole community behind you, you can do it all. You can do anything. So. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it really comes down to the community at the end of the day, like getting all these people inspired. And I know that this probably feels like your baby in some sense. You feel a lot of responsibility in taking care of it and making sure that it lasts for future generations. And one day somebody else, once we're, you know, old and not even riding mm -hmm. bikes anymore, hopefully somebody's still taking care of this place and making it even better and just keeping the spirit of biking alive. So Totally. Yeah, yeah. we want to... You know, we want everyone to see and like just feel the community vibe and the atmosphere here and kind of get more and more people involved with the community so it can sustain in the long term. Yeah. Um, you know, our plan is kind of to develop a long term maintenance structure and community advisory board to make sure that this place will be around for a long time for people to enjoy. That's awesome to hear. So, so who would you really like to thank? Who were like the pillars of making this happen? Yeah, so um, we had an incredible team that really came through and we were able to work with the borough of Carlisle. We're super supportive. They more or less like donated this land, this public land for us to build on uh, for the community. Yeah. We also really um, are supportive and are appreciative of uh, the Cumberland Area Economic Development Corporation. Okay. They gave us uh, a ton of money, almost $100,000 out of a $300,000 project. Uh, and they focus on community and economic development in our county and trying to bring in more tourism. So this was kind of aligned with their goals as well. Uh, we also want to thank the Partnership for Better Health, which is a foundation that supports healthy communities in town. And they kind of saw the potential in this mission as well, as well as some other major donors from Daily Express and Allen Distribution, which are local logistics companies in the area, as well as just all the more than 100 grassroots um, fundraisers that all believed in this community vision so okay nice, yeah, it's, nice. it was really a community effort cool man that's awesome and we'll go ahead and plug like all of the instagrams all like the social media handles down in the description and we'll also put carlisle pump tracks instagram right here so you guys can go ahead and follow that and keep up to date with everything that they're doing in the future it sounds like they're doing some more stuff here in the future they're building like a skills park section and like a small like kid pump track too so. yeah so kind of where where the grand opening tents were this morning is uh, in the future going to be a kiddie track, kind of catty quarter to the main track. 
um, that will just kind of help younger riders and new beginning riders progress their skills to then move to this bigger track and eventually there will be another whole skills park um, back in this woods behind us okay uh, full of like skinnies teeter totters rock gardens progressive drops and jumps okay so that's kind of the master plan uh, we're also looking to kind of improve our maintenance get some some more dirt on top of the track and some more signage so, that's awesome man cool yeah. we're super excited that you guys are able to come and uh, document it all uh, for the community and just you know kind of spread the message about this place for people to come ride so definitely yeah, man. thank you very much appreciate you inviting us out here man so the dust has finally settled here at carlisle pump track we had a really fun time learning more about the pump track today kind of checking it out and riding it we met a lot of really cool people and we really appreciate you guys tuning in to check out this video i hope you learned something about how to bring a pump track to your neck of the woods so that you can enjoy the same benefits that this pump track brings to this community and thank you guys for watching and see you I swear we didn't just drop a bunch of dirt and call it a park. It's a, it's a real park. It's going to be awesome. This is amazing.